My name is Marie Louise Jean Baptiste. I'm a primary care physician practicing at the Cambridge Health Alliance. My goal when I started primary care was to give culturally appropriate care to a group of underserved Haitian population. My practice comprised between 80 and 90% of newly arrived Haitian patients. So I thought it was easy because I speak the same language, I'm from the same culture, so it was a big deal. <laughs> but it turned out it wasn't the case. Haitian patients tend to present very late in their illness. They have a lot of chronic illness, especially diabetes. The rate of complication is much higher compared to other community. At our network, the rate is about 21% compared to 17% others. So after 10 years of diligently trying, I got frustrated, disappointed, I feel stuck. At that time, I heard about diabetic group. What a great idea. Now, the, the people who attend diabetic group tend to do well, they have better satisfaction, and their blood sugar is better. So let's try that. So we started a group with colleagues with nurses and later joined by a nutritionist, and we also had a caseworker working with us for the beginning. Patients love it. They came in bigger num numbers, so we had to increase the group from one to three. And some people did well, but some people still struggle. One of the patients who did well is Mr. Andre, who is a 60-year-old Haitian male with a lot of multiple medical issues, including diabetes, poorly controlled. His blood sugar is usually between four and 600. Mr. Andre was not doing that well, we try everything, calling the nurse, having to see the nurse, nutrition, even myself. I had to call him at least three times a week to adjust his insulin in the evening. Nothing seems to work. So we finally convinced Mr. Andre to come to the group. So Mr. Andre came, and his blood sugar after three months, because he came monthly, after three months, his blood sugar dropped from 14 to 7. Must be a mistake. So we repeated it three months again. His blood sugar is still below 7. I cannot believe it. So the group we started, we also have been doing some stretching, physical activity. We teach health education, empowerment. And the patient loves it. So the next step is, well, maybe we can re reinforce our teaching. So we started doing a radio show, Haitian radio show, called Health Corner. So every Saturday, I will be on the radio talking about the issue that I encountered last week. So, but some people still struggle. They feel stuck. And they get despaired. I do everything you tell me. What's wrong? So. We invited the patient to give us some idea. And one of the idea, why don't you do a cooking class? Wow, that's a great idea. So you can tell us, watch us and tell us what we're doing wrong. So we were fortunate to be selected as a fellow. So we built a team with medical students and co-lead with a nutritionist. One of them is here. And, and that's what we did. So first, we had a dialogue with the patient, asking them to what the meaning for food for them. And we also observed them cooking. And what became apparent is that they were using way too much oil. As you can see, this is the first time, the first cooking class, and this, this is the second time. And too much salt, so we, they're using cod fish, so we gave them alternative. So they could use fresh, fresh cod fish. And we also did teaching. We taught them about nutrition. And you know, adult education, it has to do with repetition. So each time we repeat the topic. So 
on, the, on session four, we decided that we're going to do a check to find out what's going on. So we asked the patient, what is calorie? Everybody went blank. And somebody finally said, well, your daily requirement is about 100. What? Should be 2,000, as far as I know. <laughs> and so we realized that we were teaching, but we were too abstract. So we wanted to be more concrete. We have to do culturally appropriate term. So the patient, you have to be able to choose example that they relate to so they can understand what you teach. So at the end of the cycle, we had a group discussion. And those are the quotes from the patient. It's such a wonderful experience. It's a fountain of richness. I am so sad the group is ending. I wish my blood sugar used to be between four and 600. Not anymore. My sister used to call 911 each time. Now my blood sugar is between 90 and 120. I don't eat much potatoes anymore. I, I, I don't eat fried food. I bake it. So, uh, Mr. Andre is still doing well. The last time I saw him, his blood sugar was 6.7. His A1C was 6.7. He lost 40 pounds, and he has now the BiPAP that he needed for to help him breathe better. Uh, the unexpected uh, event is that one patient, three. We had four diabetic patients out of 11 patients. Three of them, their A1C went down. One of them, the A1C went from 12 to 6.7 after three months. So we, the student and myself, we learned, we were, that was a powerful journey for me, that the cooking class was good because it helped teach the patient in their culture, so there is, they don't need to make too many changes. You can adjust their diet. We also learned that we have to be very concrete and use colorful metaphor when we are teaching patients. And adult re repetition, so we use multiple approach, the, the uh, diabetic group, the cooking class, the radio, and soon we're going to have some education in the waiting room where we're going to have a student now is going to be studying. We have an iPad, and we're going to do education in Haitian Creole in the waiting room while the patients are waiting so we can help them get better outcome. Thank you for your attention.